Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Iowa Realty Sunday Home Show, our first show of 2024 and our 41st year on your Sunday morning. And, you know, during the pandemic, lots of folks discovered the advantages of acreage living. And Tanner Lloyd from Iowa Realty will show us this excellent acreage uh, near Lake Aquabi in Indianola on the pavement. Better than three acres here, four bedroom, two story with four bath areas, updated tastefully. And uh, of course, all that Indianola offers is just minutes away and the Metro just a shade over half an hour drive. If you're thinking new construction, Carrie Bishop has the last two remaining home sites at Ridgewood Estates. Again, near Lake Aquabi and Indianola with all that the city of Indianola has to offer. And these home sites are terrific. Eight of the 10 have already been sold. Lot seven is 144.9, 6.1 acres. Lot 10 is five and a half acres at 134.9. Uh, the covenants are relaxed. You can have horses, outbuildings. You uh, can bring your own builder, no timeline. This is a great opportunity for quite a bit of land close to the metro uh, with all that Indianola has to offer. We'll also throw in some Iowa Realty open houses and Iowa Realty listings all around the metro. So stay with us on the Iowa Realty Sunday Home Show. We begin in West Des Moines with Meg Nixon and what she calls 8,000 square feet of pure beauty and bliss at Hickory Ridge Estates. 100% custom renovation here by Schaefer and Sons recently. It's just loaded a million nine ninety five. Susie Mahoney, a $101,000 price reduction here on this big two story sitting on 1.67 acres in Grand Oaks, West Des Moines, nearly 6,000 square feet Featured in Welcome Home Magazine, updates galore, $9.99. Danny Junius at Glen Oaks, Iowa's only golf-gated community, a story and a half here with five bedrooms, five baths, walk-out lower level with a dedicated theater room, rec room, screen porch, wet bar, another wonderful home, eight thirty four nine. dollars Open house with A.J. Cholera, one to three today. Paramount Destination is the builder of this nice open two-story with four big bedrooms, Main floor with a great room and fireplace. There's a four season room, uh, closing cost paid, and a price tag of $539.9. Holly Kreger with a four bedroom, three bathroom, store and a half, brand new listing, uh, all new paint throughout, new carpet, spacious living dining area, kitchen with stainless steel appliances, big family room, beam ceilings, $415 is that price. Townhome living, one to three open house today with Deborah McGee. Open floor plan here at the Bennett Courtyard. Four bedrooms, three bath areas, swimming pool, clubhouse, pickleball court to bid farewell to the snow removal and the lawn care, 375. Scott Steelman, open house three to five, Covenant Cove townhomes. And this is the model and it's loaded with upgrades like gas uh, cooktop oven, kitchen backsplash, and lots more. Nine inch walls between you and the neighbor, 370 and change. Back to Bennett Courtyard with Deborah McGee, open house again, one to three here. Three bedrooms, four baths, finished lower level, could be a fourth bedroom or family room downstairs. Again, maintenance free living here, pet friendly vibes, below market value at 320. Elizabeth McKinney now, condominium living, a ground corner unit, if you will. West Des Moines, two bedroom split floor plan, spacious primary bedroom, separate dining area off the kitchen. Fireplace, built-in shelves, 177. Alan Donahoe in Waukee with open house one to three. This is beautiful Napa Valley, an architectural contemporary here on 1.35 acres. Walk out two story, 4,600 plus square feet. The lakes, the pool, the tennis, 799. Sachi Kalra open house one to three. Uh, Pinehurst plan here from Paramount Destination Homes, five bedrooms and three baths, great room, fireplace, square footage, nearly 2,900. And uh, closing cost paid, six seventy-five. dollars Scott Steelman with four bedrooms and three baths. Stone Prairie community here. 1,700 plus square feet. Triple garage. Nice landscaping. Embrace that vibrant Waukee community here at 364.9. Also Waukee, Julie Johnson. Three bedrooms and two baths. Nice ranch. Highly desired west end of Waukee. Open floor plan. White cabinets in that kitchen with quartz countertops and stainless steel appliances. Some potential downstairs, 321.9. Open house with Rick Wanamaker in Urbandale. Uh, $100,000 price reduction here. 0.86 acres on the cul-de-sac. Back into the Greenbelt Park. 
6,800 plus square feet, five car garage, three offices and more, a million two. This is Urbandale and four bedrooms and four baths. Kenzie Bransgard like to show you this home from original builder Denny Pignary. A nice retreat here, the living room with a dual sided fireplace. His and her closets in the primary bedroom, well equipped 549.9. Sharon Rooney in Urbandale with four bedrooms and four baths. Ask about a 2 1 buy down with an acceptable offer to get that mortgage rate down. This is a wonderful home by MJ Custom Homes, Walkout Ranch, those Anderson windows, and much more 549. Mary Kay Michelson, Urbandale, three bedrooms, four baths, fully remodeled, no details spared here or expense. Top to bottom, everything has been redone, basically, and a price tag of 384.9. Deb Miller now, three bedrooms, four baths, updated Urbandale split, first floor laundry, half bath and family room on the first floor, formal living room, formal dining room, eat-in kitchen walks out to the deck, fence backyard, 360. Mary Kay Michelson with townhome living in Urbandale, three bedrooms and two baths, immaculate, standalone, remodeled townhome, just minutes away from shopping at I-80. New bathrooms, new carpet, new hardwood floors, 338. Greg Weinshank now with two bedrooms and two bath areas, top floor condominium on the end, just listed by the way, nice open plan, double garage, second bedroom or could be an office, price is 168. A recent great Iowa home special feature with so many upgrades, but plenty of style and pizzazz. Five bedrooms, five bath areas, story and a half in the beautiful Woodlands neighborhood of Clive, 7,000 plus square feet, a million four, 99,999. Joey Plummer, open house one to three, five bedrooms and four baths, $10,000 in allowances to ask about. So walk out, story and a half, brand new in Shadow Creek, five bedrooms, four baths, Backing to the trees, Walkie Schools, a million thirty-eight. Brand new from SJ Home Builders. You're gonna see Passive Radon installed, James Hardy siding, energy efficient windows, Passive Radon, five bedrooms and three baths, and Sharon Rooney would love to give you the tour. Custom built-in cabinetry in the kitchen, a wall of windows, 649. Marsha Wanamaker, something unique here, the Amare Vita neighborhood in Shadow Creek. Ask about a $20,000 credit back at closing if you close by the end of January as one of the next five buyers. Town home living, quite unique, 561 and change. And Alexis Johnson and Clive with four bedrooms, five bath areas, a coveted country club location here. Great value for the neighborhood. Move right in, take advantage of the low price. Maybe do some updates for your taste. The price here, 475. Sometimes life changes quickly and you need your home to sell fast. Receive an offer with QuickBuy within two business days. No showings, no open houses, no market listing. Your qualified home can go from cash offer to close in as little as two weeks. Contact your Iowa Realty agent about QuickBuy today. Go to Iowa Realty TV on YouTube and Facebook for our featured home tours. Hear about communities where you might want to live home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's Iowa Realty TV. Well, as I mentioned at the top of the show, lots of folks discovered acreage living during the pandemic. You know, the privacy, the elbow room, maybe working from home. Well, Tanner Lloyd from Iowa really is here. Tanner, great to see you. Hi, Mike. Uh, he's gonna show us this beautiful acreage near Lake Aquabi in Indianola, uh, just minutes from the Metro. And, and you know, I think folks, uh, whether they're in a townhouse now or a condominium or a single family home somewhere, Almost everybody has kind of fantasized about having a place in the country with some elbow room, but close to the city, close to the schools. And in this case, uh, less than a mile from Lake Aquabi. Pretty nice setup. It's fantastic. A great location for getting to where you need to go and enjoying the outdoors. And this home, uh, two story with four bedrooms and four baths if I've done my homework, um, has been updated really tastefully. It's kind of a rustic country feel with some style. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Throughout the years, the homeowners have lovingly cared for and improved the property. The updates show throughout, inside and out. Now, we mentioned four bedrooms, four bathrooms, ample square footage. Um, the three acres, a beautiful view here off the uh, kitchen area. There's a, a pond down there and a lot of beautiful timber. These rolling hills are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Great sunsets out here to take in from the uh, beautiful front porch that was redone here recently. They've opened up the floor plan so you can take advantage of the views from anywhere in the house. So Tanner, let's take a stroll over this direction. What are some of the things that have been done, uh, some obvious updates? I know this was a wall at one time here into the dining area. It was, so they opened this up uh, to an, improve the flow throughout and bring the family together in that open concept that everybody's looking for today. The kitchen has almost been completely remodeled throughout Beautiful. the years, including the custom center island with built-in microwave, new appliances with the hood vent and the gas range. They've added new flooring, custom ceiling, and then the hand hammered copper sink is absolutely gorgeous. They've done it really well. I noticed outside the landscaping, of course, this time of year isn't looking as good as it'll look in the spring in a few weeks, but very nice, beautiful front porch remodel. Absolutely, absolutely. So that was all hand laid brick uh, with a German schmear coating on it. It's absolutely gorgeous from the outside. They recently repainted the exterior of the home as well, and it just looks gorgeous. So briefly, uh, folks who might not be familiar with Warren County and Indianola, great school district. Absolutely. Uh, the city of Indianola has a lot to offer. Lots going on here. We have the National Balloon Classic and being close to uh, Lake Aquabi, the Annette Nature Center, Isaac Walton League, your opportunities to get outdoors are just boundless. 15 minutes maybe to uh, the bypass. So it puts you into downtown Des Moines and maybe a shade over half an hour or something like that. It's a quick commute. Absolutely. Tanner Lloyd with Iowa Realty. And you're gonna, if you're thinking acreage, you're gonna wanna talk to him about this one because it's a nice one. Our price is? 645, Mike. 645, better than three acres a mile from Lake Aquabi. Doesn't get much better than that. Thank you, Tanner. Thanks, Mike. Good to see you. Appreciate it. We begin in Johnston with this unique transitional style two-story. Chris Kay, love to give you the tour. The seller will consider buying down that mortgage. A two-one arrangement that could save you up to about $13,000. Wonderful home, 575. Karen Helgeson with three bedrooms, three bath areas, move in ready, put away the snowblower and the lawnmower and let the uh, homeowners association do the work. 2,200 square feet of living here at Crosshaven, 349.9. Ankeny now, open house one to four with Jessica Bigsby, four bedrooms and four baths. A motivated seller here offering a rate buy-down option to ask about. How about your own custom-built British pub here? Price is $439.9. Teresa Knox in Ankeny, four bedrooms and three baths. Private spot for a hot tub here. A lot of storage in the lower level. Fourth bedroom down there with wet bar and a big family room. Total of four bedrooms, three baths for $425. Jim Bear at Ankeny, five bedrooms and four baths here. It's a two-story, quiet Northwest neighborhood. Nice setting with mature trees, professional landscaping. It's move-in ready, fifth bedroom and three-quarter bath added to the lower level recently, 365. Puspa Adhikari now at Ankeny with three bedrooms and two baths. The sought after Ankeny South School District here. Main level with three cozy bedrooms, spacious primary suite, couple of updated bathrooms. Lots of updates, 359.9. Sarah Gaskell, as we go to Des Moines, uh, of course, downtown, the Art Center, close by here, 37th Street, south of Grand, a one acre spot, and a totally modernized and remodeled historic home, a million, 193.
Ken Lay's now with five bedrooms and six baths in Beaverdale, this nicely updated home with better than 5,000 square feet. How about two jet tubs, four fireplaces, two jacuzzi tubs, an in-ground heated pool with new pool heater, wow, 634.9. Beautiful part of the city, this is Southern Woods Drive, about a half acre setting for this nice uh, one owner, five bedroom home. Chris Cade, love to give you the tour. Anderson Renewal Windows, finished lower levels, some nice updates, mature landscaping, 547. Jamie Smith, five bedrooms, four baths, one owner custom built home by Cooper Homes. Stanton Acres on the south side of the city. It's a two story, better than 3,000 square feet. You'll see a lot of pride of ownership here, 435. Gerald Steenhook with four bedrooms, and two baths, two story home built and owned by a single owner for better than six decades, south of Grand Quiet Street, and a price of $3.99. Iowa Realty's Steve Camerona now with five bedrooms and four baths, fully renovated two-story here. New flooring, new paint, new countertops, new fixtures, new bathrooms, renovated and finished lower level, brand new listing at $379.9. Joe Henry from Iowa really with a custom built ranch at Easter Lake. Quiet tree lined uh, cul-de-sac here. Four bedrooms, three baths, finished lower level, nine foot ceilings, nice fireplace, walking distance to Ewing Park and the lake, 364.9. Angie Deemer with three bedrooms and three baths, better than 2,800 square feet here in the Southeast Polk School District. And ask about an assumable loan at 2.25% if you qualify. What a deal that could be. One of those bedrooms could be a den, 349.9. Robert Wright from Iowa, really. Three bedroom Beaverdale brick home uh, near that Waveland golf course. Living in dining rooms with hardwood floors, crown molding. Recent upgrades include the furnace, the air, the roof, the windows. Wow, 269.9. Greg Weinshank, two bedroom home. Charming ranch here with fully updated uh, package. Nice kitchen and bath, hardwood floors, wood burning fireplace, double garage, nice backyard, 235. David McCombs, smaller three bedroom, two bathroom, Beaverdale brick. North of University Avenue, just west of Waveland Golf Course. Remodeled kitchen and bath, hardwood floors, the basement's dry with some potential down there. Ask about NFC financing. Abigail Cromanow, three bedrooms and three baths. Could be a non-conforming fourth bedroom in that partially finished lower level. Big fenced yard here. All the expensive updating has been done. New tile, new updated kitchen, new microwave, 225. Sarah Elmer now with the three bedroom home. Move in ready, well maintained. Nice ranch near the parks and trails, highway access. It's a new listing. Warranty is included, partially fenced yard, 203 and change. Amy Dempsey now with a two bedroom home. Virtually new, the siding, the gutters, the roof, the furnace, the air, the water heater, the LVP flooring, the carpeting, the appliances, professionally remodeled, new prices, $199.9. Two bedroom, two bathroom home, Jody Holly here. Uh, some charm from yesterday, as well as the comfort of modern living here. You have a new roof, new metal siding, some beautiful woodwork, contemporary elegance with that home vintage charm at a price of $199.9. And Randy Kramer, if you're looking at downtown, check it out. Homeowner uh, association fees include storage, parking, fitness, water, uh, sauna, trash, secure building. It's a great value at Iowa Realty professional sales agents are widely known to be the best trained and best educated in the business. And with me is Carrie Bishop from the Indianola Iowa Realty office. Always nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. And uh, how many years with the company? Um, I'm going into my 19th year this year. Wow. And always one of our top performers. Uh, I mentioned at the top of the show, Carrie, uh, that during the pandemic, a lot of people discovered acreage living and uh, you can see why you have the privacy, you got some elbow room, a lot of folks were working at home, still are, and maybe they're deciding they would like to. I agree. Uh, and 
We're talking acreage today, some new construction opportunities. That's right. Well, uh, Ridgewood Estates was started about 18 months ago, right in the midst of the pandemic. And to be honest, we saw a lot of people that were interested in more green space, just as you mentioned, uh, can work remote. Uh, right. The benefit here is we're just six miles south of the Hy-Vee store in Indianola, so not far away and just off pavement of G58. So. And uh, just a mile or so from Lake Aquabi in this beautiful Correct. rolling countryside is awfully nice. I agree. And the nice thing is, you know, there are two um, lots that are available. We had 10 initially. Mm -hmm. uh, lot seven is available. It's about six acres. It's at the end of the cul-de-sac, um, has a shared pond. So you get to share it with your neighbors and um, fit, there's nice fish in there. And then also on the back side of the development is lot 10, which is available. It's five and a half acres, mm -hmm. um, a little more secluded as far as off of the, the main road. So now let's get to price on those right away because I think these prices are really amazing. This close to the Metro with this much land, we're talking better than six acres at 144.9? That's correct, it's a great price and you have the shared pond at that price as well. And the five and a half acre uh, home site is 134.9. 34.9. Those are awfully good prices. And when you closer to the metro you get, obviously you're going to pay a lot more, but six acres or thereabouts. Exactly. That's some serious elbow room. There is. And we found that in the pandemic that a lot of people are wanting to have their own chickens, um, have their own eggs, um, maybe have a hobby farm going. and Maybe a barn dominium. Correct. Yeah. And barn dominiums are definitely a trendy item right now. There's one that was just built on lot eight. Yeah. Uh, eight of the ten have sold, so there are only two remaining. Uh, you can bring your own builder, am I right? Correct. Uh, no timeline. Correct. Wow. What about covenants? Um, there are covenants that are meant to be protective. The developer does um, review any plans, but is very accommodating and has worked well with the current homeowners. And of course, uh, you're in the Indianola School District, just minutes from school. Um, and all that the city of Indianola offers, plus uh, 15, 16 minutes maybe to the bypass. Really pretty good situation. It is. And one thing that's unusual about an acreage is that instead of propane, you have access to mid-American gas. So that's unusual out in the country and also with the electric. So it's a matter of just hooking up and running it to your home, along with CenturyLink is here for high-speed internet. It's a great package. And Carrie Bishop's with our Indianola office. She'd love to give you a personal look at these last two opportunities at Ridgewood Estates. Thank you. Have a great year. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Mike. Sometimes life changes quickly and you need your home to sell fast. Receive an offer with QuickBuy within two business days. No showings, no open houses, no market listing. Your qualified home can go from cash offer to close in as little as two weeks. Contact your Iowa Realty agent about QuickBuy today. Go to Iowa Realty TV on YouTube and Facebook for our featured home tours. Hear about communities where you might want to live home design trends, and more. For what's happening in the housing market, it's Iowa Realty TV. Time for the home stretch. And how about a fabulous home with an Adel address here, located just between Waukee and Adel, 10 minutes from everything. And a recent Great Iowa Home special feature, one of a kind, saltwater pool, outdoor fireplace, Bussimus, the original builder, it's loaded on 11 and a half acres. Next up, Steve Camarona. And this is an Ames address, four bedrooms and four baths on better than an acre just outside Ames. Fully finished lower level, better than 3,000 square feet here, plus all that Ames has to offer, 639.9. Alan Lundgren from Iowa Realty. This is a Bondurant address, great schools, quick commute into the Metro via the bypass. Four bedrooms, three baths, vaulted ceilings, nice kitchen with hardwood floors and tile backsplash, custom wet bar, fenced yard, 375. Sunny Green in Perry, three bedroom home, story and a half, brick fireplace, big kitchen with tile floors, pantry, dining room with hardwood floors, family room, there's a bar, Hardwood floors upstairs too, fenced in yard, 260. We go to Panora, something special here, brand new construction, fully furnished home, 
with a view of Sunset Beach on Lake Panorama, three bedrooms and three baths, those natural lake surroundings and a luxury home here at 624 Nye. Aisha Syed with an Ogden address, about an acre here, three bedrooms and two baths. Uh, the railing on the front steps lead to an atrium with decorative tile and then French doors. Nice entry here, charm and character, hardwood floors, 215. Steve Camarona, Melcher, Dallas, less than an hour south and east of the city, three bedrooms, two baths, two bedroom ranch, partially finished lower level, walk up attic, double garage with a big workshop, 110. Tanner Lloyd and today's special feature on three plus acres, about a mile to Lake Aquabi, close to Indianola, Iowa. Wonderful kitchen, center island, refaced cabinets, walk through pantry, and all those rolling hills, 645. Emily Keller Lampman, this is Indianola. New build here, but they've added uh, wood blinds, subway tile, backsplash, upgraded lighting, GE cafe appliances, fully fenced yard here, lower level ready to finish on the corner, above ground pool, 347.5. Tanner Lloyd on two and a half acres, three bedrooms and two baths, a stylish story and a half here with some great updates. The home was actually lifted about seven years ago and a brand new foundation poured. This could be a real value at 235. Ted Grobe, new construction in Norwalk. Valley View, the Crest Ranch plan by Savannah Homes. Great builder with 50 years plus experience. Ted will be there from one to three to talk about the area and this terrific home with five year partial tax abatement. Here's another one. Open house again, one to three. And again, the builder is Savannah, open floor plan. This is the Land Cut V Ranch plan. Great location in Norwalk. Those good schools, quick commute, 324.9. Cheryl Chambers in Knoxville, three bedrooms and three baths. Big yard, hard surface road just outside the city limits. How about a 50 by 36 insulated and heated shop and a well-maintained split foyer home here for 375. Also in Knoxville, Alexis Johnson, four bedrooms and two baths. Historic charmer here, well-preserved and maintained. Uh, that original character is there, the woodwork in pristine condition. Three season porch, a nice feature, price of 240. Leela Bales with an Ellsworth, Iowa address, and so much is new here in this story and a half. It's a remodeled 1800s farmhouse, full of character, basically everything new, including the roof, 235. This is Menlo, better than a half an acre, the setting here, Jessica Coyle with three bedrooms and two baths. This home built in 2022. Formal dining room, eat-in kitchen, great sized uh, private primary suite, LVP flooring throughout 284. And in Adair, Iowa, about an hour to the west, Steve Camarona, three bedrooms, two baths, almost half an acre here, two car detached garage, another storage shed in the back, solid home priced at 139.9. Big thanks to Tanner Lloyd from Iowa Realty for showing us this wonderful acreage near Lake Aquabi in Indianola. Three acres of rolling hills here in Warren County with a view of the pond. Also thanks to Kerry Bishop, two home sites remaining at Ridgewood Estates. Wonderful new popular neighborhood close to Indianola and close to the Metro. Thank you for watching. Don't forget us on Facebook and YouTube and we'll see you next time on The Home Show.